Dark Prince was um, a very, very rebel work for me. It really stemmed from my love for, you know, the classic monsters. You're talking Dracula, Frankenstein, and you know all those, you know all those people. I, I saw Dracula in a, I, I guess, in a different way when I read the book. And you know, when I read the book, it wasn't some guy with like a, you know, a, 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 a <laughs> widow's hairline or you know, slick back black hair with a cape going ah 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 ah. It wasn't it wasn't that for me at all. You know, I saw him as a completely other character. To me, he was a long white haired guy that was always brooding. Not say brooding, but you know, particularly he had a lot of pain within him. Uh, things like that. You know, you know, I I, I went back to the whole. Uh, Lost Boys interviewed the vampire thing where um, you know when when they say it's a curse they, they really mean it and not because it's a curse because their body is hurting or because of this but you know what's it like to live for eternity and watch the people you love die constantly you know it's a it's a very tragic anti-hero kind of character because Dracula was um, you know in most filmmaking standards a low-budget film uh, we had to do a lot of casting based on what we could afford and because we shot in Romania uh, a lot of the actors had to be flown in from London as opposed to Los Angeles or uh, New York or anywhere from the United States uh, we flew in one actor who's, who was John Boyd who came down to play Van Helsing and a lot of people were actually worried about oh, I, I don't know do you think John Boyd is too old and I'm like guys do you not read Bram Stoker's novel you know he's 70 plus in Bram Stoker's novel but we were even doing a prequel to that novel so he, you know John Voight was playing you know Abraham Van Helsing's ancestor and you know many times it was very apparent that this was his last fight this was his last fight with Dracula but his last fight was what created the legacy between the you know Van Helsing and Dracula rivalry that spanned across you know decades I was very uh, certain that I was gonna make a dark fairy tale, not a horror movie. And the love story was concentrated a lot because when you think about it, you know, uh, creatures of the night uh, that you can say, like, you know, people like werewolves and all that, werewolves are very primal by nature. And, you know, Dracula, or should I say vampires, were definitely more towards the romanticism behind it and that was you know where gothic romance really came from so um, one part of me really says you know it's great to really show that gothic romance element of it and what romance is for me and the cynical side of me was uh, saying let's make a better love story than Twilight <laughs> me and my business partner have been working on it for a very long time it's called Blitzkrieg and it's gone through a couple of hands, but we finally found the right production company, and um, you know we want to film in actual underground, abandoned underground silos where um, you know creepy stuff happens. Kind of like Gene Generation, you know. Yeah. I, I filmed in the I filmed Gene Generation in the underground um, abandoned hospital, an insane asylum actually, and we decorated it to make it look like the set of Gene Generation. But it had that vibe, it had the dark vibe going through it. <clears throat> and you know, just like Blitzkrieg, I want you know, I wanted to kind of, you know, do the same thing. And we're active, me and my partner, uh, Chad Michael Ward, we're active in development now for Batlam Stories, which is um, you know, a, a, another horror movie that I've written. It's kind of like a horror version of, you know, Alice in Wonderland meets Dorothy of Oz. And um, and you know that's being produced by Chad Cole, um, who was also the producer for you know many other horror films, and we're doing that alongside with Toyo, which is another horror film I wrote that stems back from uh, my roots in in Southeast Asia, the myth and legends of Southeast Asia. I really want to bring it over here and create uh, horror movies, you know, based on actual myth mythological creatures that exist back in my country.